this was not on the forecast for today. Melbourne. Hi and welcome to another episode of Paths Less Travelled. This week I'm going to begin cutting holes in the van for windows and roof vents and get those installed. It's a cool winter's evening in, in Melbourne. Uh, time to mark out some window locations and cut them this evening and then tomorrow, Saturday, get windows and roof vents fitted. That's the plan. Let's see how far I get with it. I've checked uh, that I'm going to be able to cut from the inside with the jigsaw without issues. I prefer to cut from the inside because then if I scratch the paint I can easily just touch it up. It doesn't matter. Uh, scratch the outside and it's more more of an effort to get it looking presentable so that's one reason for that preference. The other is uh, it's just easier to, to reach inside so uh, mark it up and, and get cutting. So I'm going 50mm above the crease in the van there. These windows the rear are a metre wide, so I'm just going to make an even, make an even on the panel. It's a 90, so I need 45 mil in from each end. Check my overall weight. One metre. There's a pattern I prepared earlier. No, that's the wrong one. It's the shorter one. The Getting a hole large enough to put the jigsaw blade through. Earmuffs. Well, no going back now. Now for the moment of truth. Make sure the window's the right way around. Does it fit in the hole? Not quite. The radius of my corners is just a little bit too broad. So we'll get that marked, ease the corners a little, and the window will go in. thought about trying to get the windows in this evening but I don't want to be under that pressure in the dark trying to get nice beads on the sealer so 
covering them with plastic for the night. Install the windows in the daylight and I can see properly what I'm doing. It's not supposed to rain tonight. Although it's always possible at this time of year. Well, good morning and welcome to another day. It's Saturday today, uh, so I've got a good chunk of time to get stuck in to work on the van. Uh, so you saw me last night cut out uh, the first two windows. This morning I'm going to cut out the next two. In this space, where the window behind the driver's seat is going, I have moved the window forward because the bathroom wall will end up coming here. For the window in the sliding door, it's quite close down this side to the steel that I've cut out. So I may not be able to cut that from the inside. We'll see. Uh, I've, I've shifted that one quite far forward too, even though it possibly might look better if it was centered in the space. But let me show you on the outside why I've decided to do that. So when I cut the steel out, the bracing from the inside, and I pulled it off the door, notice until later but you should be able to see it if I get the camera angle right these dimples and dents that it's caused in the door where the where it was stuck to the door uh, so by moving this window well forward to match the location of the one on the other side I'll also be cutting out almost all of those dimples and dents so that's going to clean that up. It's a little bit disappointing, but at least I'm going to get rid of the worst of it. Just going to have to cut up this last little bit from the outside, so I can't get to it properly. Okay, well I've cut the window holes all out. Okay, well I've cut all the window holes out uh, and I need to prime the edges and, and uh, get the windows glued in, but it's a Saturday, it's winter, we've just had the shortest day. I may not have another day with weather as favorable as I've got today. Uh, it for a while so rather than pushing on with the windows at the moment I'm going to cut the roof vent holes out and try and get the roof vents in today if I need to just leave plastic over the window holes like I've got at the moment and tackle the windows during the week in the evenings um, I'd rather do that than then leave the, the roof vents for another day. So I'm gonna push on. I'll try and get both the roof vents in today. The windows too if I can, but we'll see how we go for time and, and light and all of that. So my plan for getting the roof holes cut goes something like this. I hold up the frames that I've made, drill a hole into each corner, where the lines will meet and then I'll go on top join the lines up with a marker
So as you can see, I've just cut a couple of pieces of timber to prop the frame into place. So I don't have enough hands otherwise. I think I'm just going to double check my measurements one more time before I uh, actually cut anything. Okay, check my measurements. I'm happy with them. Time to cut some more holes. So if you're wondering why I'm cutting big holes, the radius, there's a radius in the corner of the vents, and so by leaving a radius corner, uh, the, the corners will be stronger. Uh, I'm going to try cutting it from down here, see how it goes. I'm really not expecting it to be fun. need to beat the edge a little bit to straighten it up with a hammer and a block of wood but it's not too bad it's not easy but it's not too bad gonna check that the flange fits Beautiful thing. So the next stage is to get up on the roof, drill the holes for the screws. Uh, I'm propping the the frame into place as I do that, so I'm pre-drilling a hole in the frame as well for the screw to go into. We got the flange. I'm making today. Just got to do a Bunnings run now to get some mastic tape. And a couple of other little bits and pieces. That's all right. The paint's drying that I've put on the on the bare steel. Once I get back, I'll be able to carry on and get the roof vent frames mounted. I'll get the windows done today as well. We'll see. Progress is good. Nice to have a nice day in the winter to work on the van. foam tape, it's a double sided high bond adhesive tape, so I'll put that around the inside edge closest to the flange uh, and then when I put the, put the flanges on uh, I'll be back filling up against this I'm 
I've got some weather coming in, so I need to get a move on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put a little bit dob of thicker flex under each of the screw holes from the inside um, and just prop the frame up and then I'm going to install this flange. This may not end up being as pretty as I would like, just because I need to do it quickly. Weather is turning for the worse. Okay, well, I didn't beat the weather. One of the hatches is the flange is uh, in and, and sealed in a hurry. The other one is just sitting in place with the with the vent on top of it to keep as much rain out as possible. I've had to cover the other two windows. This was not on the forecast for today. Melbourne. And just like that, a few minutes later, the sun's back out, the rain has gone. Unsurprisingly, we did get some rain in through some of the holes and things where this vent was sitting. It's not as tidy as I would like, but there's only one spot where I need to come back and, and backfill some extra. I need it to dry out first before I can do that though. So. Okay, so the next thing is to install these windows. I'm going to start with this one in the sliding door. But first I need to come up with a way of securing the window in place while the glue goes off. So I've got an idea for that and I'll show you what that is. So these windows don't have a, a flange or anything like that that fixes them in place. You've just basically got to bond the window to the panel. But if they've got these grooves in here that the, the window runs in. So my plan is to cut a piece of timber which I can slot into that, into that groove and then another piece of timber that will bear across the frames and then I can clamp those two pieces of timber together to pull the window in. It probably make more sense uh, as I go along as long as it actually works. So let's see how we go. I think that should do quite nicely. The, it's trying to bow in here, um, but that's fine. As long as it's pulling the corners in, I can always just pop a little block in 
there to, to push the panel out to the window. So. Simple and effective, I think. Okay, I'm racing the light. afternoon but I really don't want to leave that masking tape on the van for too long particularly because it's now been wet so I'm gonna attempt to get these final two windows in this afternoon I started as soon as I came out here, the rain came down even heavier. So I'm not going to try and backfill this today in this weather. I'm just going to put a bead of glue right in the corner there, which will get the window bonded onto the panel. I'll get a little bit of squeeze out which I'll clean off and then come back and backfill when the glue's gone off properly and the weather's more suitable for that. And with the bead right away around like this the window will be watertight. The gap will just need backfill. making sure that the glue is pressed the panel is contacting all the way around Just putting a little bit more tension on this to pull the corners in a bit more and then I'm just gonna finger trowel it around the edge there which will help both the bond and the and the seal This evening I've backfilled a couple of the windows, the other two I'll have to do another day, I've run out of light now. Now I'm just going to 
backfill around the floor where I've got gaps and then I'll call it a night. Thanks for joining me. I hope you can join me again next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and uh, we'll catch you next time. See ya.